Welcome to Movie Recap, a channel dedicated to those addicted to movies. Our focus is to showcase the best recap of your favorite flick. Sit back, grab your popcorn, and get ready to be amazed by the brass teapot. A magical antique transforms a couple from hapless losers into instant winners. Each time they experience pain, the object fills with money. Spoilers ahead. The young couple John and Alice, who are having a lot of financial difficulty, are the focus of the film. They no longer even have food in the kitchen and the rent has been passed due for months because life has gotten so difficult. Although John works for a marketing company, he barely makes any money because of his poor self-esteem and heavy workload. To make matters worse, if he doesn't increase his sales, his employer constantly threatens to dismiss him. In contrast, Alice often attends job interviews but is consistently turned down because of her inexperience. The flirtatious landlord, Arnie, typically shows up when she is home to collect the rent and make her feel bad. John and Alice go to a formal party one evening without being aware of the dress code. While everyone else is dressed in formal gear, they arrive in casual attire. Nevertheless, they opt to remain at the gathering which is being thrown by Peyton, a buddy from their college days. As it turns out, he has amassed wealth and power, just like all of their peers. Even though this makes John and Alice feel worse, they can at least take advantage of the complimentary beverages which is a rare pleasure for them these days. Due to the large amount of free alcohol he consumed, John wakes up the next day with a terrible hangover and vomits. The refrigerator is empty when Alice goes to grab him some lime water. As a result, they decide to use whatever funds they have to visit the market. They had an accident on the way, but fortunately, neither of them was hurt. Soon after, while John is having a conversation with the cops, Alice sees an elderly woman removing a shiny teapot from the trash. A neighboring antique shop is nearby. She quickly crosses the street to enter the business out of curiosity, almost missing a car. She spends some time there chatting with the woman and complimenting the display items. Alice snatches the glowing teapot and flees the scene when the lady is sidetracked by a phone call. For the first time ever, John is shocked to find his wife taking something, but Alice protests that she is merely borrowing it. The next morning, while Alice is ironing her hair, John leaves for his office. She burns her head unintentionally while absorbed in the phone call. When Alice raises the lid of the teapot, she discovers some cash within. At the same time, the teapot moves suspiciously. Her utter disbelief at this. Alice deliberately burns her skull once more because she wants to know how the money got there. The teapot once more gives her some money, much to her delight. When Alice learns this, she begins intentionally harming herself, and the more pain she experiences, the more money the teapot gives her. As a result of not meeting the selling goal, John's super supervisor dismisses him. Disappointed, he arrives home to discover his wife unconscious, battered, and scarred. In fear, he tries to telephone for assistance, but Alice unexpectedly sits up and replies that she is fine. In reaction, Alice gives John a strong slap across the face. John then says that his supervisor dismissed him. The poor fellow is perplexed by this, but his demeanor rapidly changes when Alice shows him the cash in the teapot. This shows the enigmatic object will release money if either of the spouses suffers harm. John is told everything by Alice, but as was to be expected, he doesn't believe her. She gives her husband a vicious kick to show it, and the teapot rewards her with even more money. This ultimately persuades John, and the two spend the rest of the evening physically harming one another. They eventually pass out from exhaustion to the point where John begins to question the teapot. He thinks it will ruin their relationship and lead to even more serious issues for them. John is not persuaded when Alice, who is obviously the more materialistic of the two, says they will throw the teapot away after they make one million dollars. While Alice is dozing off the following morning, John returns the teapot to the shop. But nobody is there, so he takes the pot to an old-timey roadside fair instead. The appraiser determines that the teapot is worth five thousand dollars, but John had anticipated a far higher value. So, carrying it, he goes back home. A man named Dr. Ling notices the teapot while it is being displayed on television and makes preparations to meet John for an unspecified purpose. The couple is back to their regular greedy behavior in the scene after that. To increase their income, they purposefully burn their hands on a gas stove. Indulging in other unpleasant practices like waxing, tooth extraction without anesthetic, obtaining tattoos, and certain sexy things in bed are also common among them. 
the pot continues to release money throughout, making them wealthy. Because they don't want to pay taxes, the couple hides all the money in their toilet. They are joined for dinner the next day by Alice's family. Alice is made fun of by everyone for not having a child and being unemployed. But when they see the expensive objects strewn about the house, they become interested and wonder what John is up to. He replies with a joke about being interested in real estate. Alice, however, falsely claims to have already sold it in an auction a few days prior. Even more, she purchased makeup with half the money. The brothers furiously demand the remaining funds after hearing this. Alice responds by covertly removing some money from the teapot that John's pounding had created. After that, she gives it to the brothers, who eventually depart the building. Following the near miss, John and Alice decide to find out more about the teapot. They visit an antiquated library where they discover a book with details on it. When Alice reads it by herself, she shreds one of the pages after discovering something shocking about it. The teapot is from the time of Christ, and, according to the remainder of the book, it possesses exceptional powers that have undesirable effects. When Alice claims that the page regarding the repercussions isn't there despite the fact that she has previously shredded it, John becomes concerned and tries to find it. They invest in a posh car, and a sizable home in a posh neighborhood, and John even establishes a vodka company with his name on it. After that, they invite every one of their wealthy pals to a party at their new home. Suddenly, Dr. Ling knocks on the door in the middle of the celebrations and announces that John and Alice are in dire danger. He asserts that he is interested in purchasing the teapot and that he is a member of a group that deals with magic and antiquated antiques. When John considers selling it because of the intriguing offer, his avaricious wife sends Ling away and closes the door. The following evening, Arnie witnesses John and Alice harming and beating each other for money while also becoming aware of the teapot's abilities. He consequently enters their home without permission, takes the teapot, and leaves. John pursues him outside, and the two get into a small altercation. As a result, the teapot is flung onto the road, where it is soon run over by a truck. To everyone's shock, the teapot is still intact and hasn't even gotten a scratch. The couple seeks assistance from Dr. Ling the following morning after finally realizing they are dealing with supernatural issues as a result of this. Since all of the teapot's prior owners have either committed the unimaginable or been killed, the latter claims that owning the teapot will always result in something negative. He goes on to say that the teapot makes its owners greedy, driving them to perform horrific and unthinkable crimes. Then, stating that they still have time to rescue themselves, Dr. Ling tries to convince the couple to give it to them. John and Alice, however, reject the suggestion once more and leave. Later that night, Alice wakes up without warning and discovers that someone has broken into their home. She promptly alerts John to the situation, and when they go downstairs, they discover the Jewish brothers robbing them of all their money. In a state of fear, John advances and offers the brothers the teapot, but they decline. One of them admits that they never really wanted the teapot because they knew it would just cause them grief and sorrow. Only the money was the reason they came here. The brothers leave the house after saying all of this. The next morning, John and Alice are absolutely bankrupt. The teapot has ceased paying money since it has become accustomed to receiving minor wounds and beatings, which just makes the situation worse. It now expects greater agony and pain. In a bar, where John purposefully picks a fight with a tough guy because they are desperate, the couple enters. Finally dispensing money from the teapot, which makes Alice happy, he is knocked out cold. Alice discovers the pot producing money one day while she is at a park when a nearby skater falls off and gets hurt. Her realization as a result is that they can create money without even causing themselves harm. When she informs John about the incident, they go to several locations, including UFC fights and a maternity unit where a mother is giving birth to a baby. The couple's mental health begins to suffer as a result, especially Alice, who develops avarice and a never-ending need for money. She tries to drive over a man on purpose one day as they travel home in an effort to make a lot of money. But fortunately, John takes over the wheel just in time to avert the collision. Following his criticism of her for being crazy, Alice responds by cursing at him. Him. They are shocked to discover the pot full of money when they get home. They come to understand that the teapot also dispenses money for mental suffering as a result. They then turn to disparaging each other daily because they think it is simpler than harming themselves. The couple sits down and gets ready to shatter each other's hearts the following morning. They first talk openly about their extramarital relationships and one-night hookups with other people. John is enraged and decides to exact revenge when Alice admits that she had a sexual relationship with Arnie. 
He immediately goes to Arnie's home and swears at his wife there. To their surprise, the teapot discharges money once more, proving that the trick also manipulates other people's emotions. With this knowledge, the couple begins gathering with their friends and family to share their most sinister secrets. They lose contact with many people as a result, yet they couldn't give a damn. Alice makes the decision to step things up one day. To increase her income, she intends to kill a drug dealer or a sex offender. When John tries to resist, Alice eventually wins him over by arguing that these folks are the underclass and shouldn't be allowed to survive. Later, Job has a sudden change of heart and tries to stop his wife while they are digging a grave. He has Alice think about the evil that the teapot has inspired in her. She dismisses him, though, and says she's not going to stop. Whether or if he assists her, she will still commit the murder. When John hears this, he becomes terrified and runs to Dr. Lane for assistance, but the doctor says it's already too late. Alice's mind has been defiled and taken over by the teapot. There is only one way to stop this, though, and that is for Alice to voluntarily give the man the teapot. Alice observes John on the window later, as she exits the shower. He mentions the undesirable effects while holding the piece of paper that Alice had earlier torn off the book. She is prompted to make a decision between John and the teapot. He throws himself out the window when she stays silent. Alice is alarmed by the sight, so she immediately rushes to see how her husband is doing. Thankfully, he is still alive and well. Through this, Alice is able to acknowledge how evil she has grown to be. She cries as she admits that without John's presence, her life and all the money would be meaningless. So she makes the decision to throw away the teapot. But later that evening, Arnie enters their home once more and removes the teapot. The following day, when the couple learns about the theft, they quickly assume that Arnie is to blame. They quickly arrive at his home to discover it in utter disrepair. Arnie also has wounds and bruises all over him and his wife. They seem to have gone through the same struggle that our protagonist couple did a few weeks ago. The Jewish brothers show up at the place at the same moment, and a fierce shootout starts. John and Alice live but Arnie, his wife, and the Jewish brothers perish right there and then. Before escaping the scene, they hastily take the teapot and the money earned from the four fatalities. They finally approach Dr. Ling and give him the teapot after some time has passed. They are now free as the curse has been lifted as a result. In the end, Dr. Ling throws the teapot into the ocean so that no one can discover it. We really hope you enjoyed today's recap of the brass teapot. Please leave a comment below on what you loved about the movie and why. Be sure to like the video and please don't forget to support our channel by subscribing so you don't miss any amazing content. Until next time, lights, camera, action. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.